Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. In this episode, we're going to take our platinum selves into the Bison Steve Hotel to fight off the guys that have, or these convicts that have taken uh, Deputy Beagle, which is the sheriff of the town, I believe. I believe he's a sheriff. Maybe he's just, no, he's just a deputy. He's, he's the lawman of the place yeah <laughs> all right so we're gonna pick out a weapon here and we're gonna go in and fight us some some convicts hopefully we die or, or i mean we don't die okay there we go uh -huh. start off there's already a guy waiting for us let's take him out holy shit i can't believe i just did that in one shot Oh! <laughs> Can't believe I took him out in one shot. That never happens. That never happens. Now I'm hidden. Now I'm not. Now I'm get on a higher area. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! There! Oh god! Oh god! Mm. I need to reload! Crap, 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 crap! Why did I pick a revolver? Oh my god, why am I such an idiot? Let's see if I can hit him here. Nope, I was afraid of that. Why can't I hit him? Okay, I need health. I need health. Come on! Come on, Pip Boy! Why can't I use my. open my Pip Boy while reloading? Of course, I have to wait. Um. Let's see some of this, some of these. Oh wait, this makes me more thirsty. The plus is bad and the minus is good. That's what I didn't realize when I bought these. Oh well, lesson learned. Down you go. Where'd the other guy go? I didn't kill him, did I? He's still alive, I'm pretty sure. Okay, of course I can't hack that. I'm still low, too low level to do that. Should I use this or should I not? Well, inside the build in this room here is a thing to a safe, and I don't have a high enough lockpick to even pick it, so it's more or less I gotta wait till later to check that place out. So we're gonna have to wait. Is that a guy? It is. Got him. I suppose I didn't. Uh, alert anybody else in here because there's other people so I'm surprised I didn't alert holy dynamite I didn't realize I had all this dynamite need some dynamite Did that kill him Yeah, there's another one of my visual mods. It's called Eve. That it adds a bunch of new looks to energy weapons and stuff. Because originally it was made to be a energy weapon mod in Fallout 3, but then they got the creator of it. He made it in with New Vegas. He made it so it affected a bunch more than just energy weapons. He made it. He he redid explosive effects and stuff. It's really. Cool. If you're gonna stand there, I'm just gonna throw dynamite at you. It's so much easier that way. Come on! Come on! You're dead! <laughs> hey, money. Oh, of course. There's another safe there. Of course, I can't pick it. I forgot about that one. 
Bottle caps, yeah. The currency of the game. I don't know if I've said before or not. Pre-war books had a really major effect in Fallout 3. You could get money off of them by selling them to this uh, this scribe of the Brotherhood of Steel at the Arlington Library. Bro library? I never could say library, right? And you just saw I picked up a starred, uh, a starred cap for, uh, what? Wait, what? 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 I must have drank my canteen or something and it gave me some, it quenched my thirst. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's one other thing. Do you guys want me to keep the can? Is the canteen okay or do you want me to get rid of it? Because that came with the DLC and it more or less takes away one of the things I have to worry about in, in hardcore. But, you know, that's your guys' decision if you want to get rid of that. Put that away and not use it, that's fine. If, if you're okay with it or you don't say nothing about it, <laughs> we'll just keep it. We'll just go with it unless I decide not to go with it. So... I threw some dynamite and blew this guy up and I should have... Did I scavenge this guy over here? I don't think I did. I did not. Yeah, give me that. Give me your varmint rifles. Oh, I didn't scavenge either one of them. Mutt fruit. I'll take that. It lowers both my stuff a little bit. Alrighty then. So... Okay, I got all these varmint rifles that are taking some weight from me. I'll get rid of fix some of these. It's too bad these things aren't worth that much in this game. They're not a bad weapon, they're just not worth really anything. Huh, isn't that funky? They give me more energy, so I'm not as sleepy, but they make me more thirsty. Huh, isn't that something else? Interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, but I was... I, I got off subject. I was talking about those star bottle caps. Those have a... Uh, there's a quest involving them, and you have to get... I believe it's 50 of them. And then you get the, a key to the to a part of the, head, the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters, and there's a uh, there's a reward for you. So that's what that's so that's what that's about. So collect those because they don't weigh anything. I'm pretty sure in hardcore they're just little caps. They they don't weigh nothing. So collect them because you'll get a special reward if you do. And the reward is not too bad at all. Okay, so we have two dots. Oh shoot, he's coming out, isn't he? Yeah, he's coming. He's gonna pop out here, isn't he? Maybe, maybe not. I just see where these guys are at, so I can see if I. You know what? Actually, I have a new idea. I'm gonna jar their attention and blow them up with frag mines. New idea. All these frag mines are ready for them. Now I'm get, now I'm getting creative. <laughs> and we'll see where this guy's at. Then I'll decide if I take the shot or not. Okay, just run. Frag mines will do the work for me. Yep, there went one. Uh, he didn't take any damage. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I think he had a grenade and he threw it the wrong way because he ran away and then threw it. What an idiot. <laughs> That's good stuff. 
That's ridiculously funny. <laughs> so, did all of the fragments blown up? Yes. Oh, hello there, Mr. Leader. Holy crap, you have some... He has some damage threshold. Um... Okay, gun change. Let's get a little shotgun action going on. Sit down, buddy. Jeez, talk about overkill has a has a incinerator. <laughs> Ooh, talk about overkill. I think I just leveled up. Yeah, I leveled up, but the way it works with leveling up is if you're in danger or in caution, it won't let you apply your skill points until you're hidden. So. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys this incinerator, because I'll probably drop it, because it weighs a bunch of. It weighs like 15 pounds. But let's just show you anyway. Incinerator. It's got its name because, of course, it throws fire. Burn, baby, burn. It's going to burn. No. <laughs> okay. So now I'm hidden, so I can apply these skill points. So we are probably gonna go. For some survival uh, of course we're gonna throw some repair on and I, I just don't have the amount of uh, caps or the amount of skill points I wished I had to apply them okay we'll just do that so I can apply that to at least the science and then I can open that uh, that term or I can do that terminal to at least open that one door up right now Yeah, but, uh, Eve, uh, fire effects, of course. They look pretty darn cool. My computer did not like the first shot I took earlier. It kind of lagged a little bit. Still look pretty darn cool, though. Alright, can you, uh, hold this for me? I mean, I'll come back later and get it. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, do I want to... Yeah, might as well take that. Wow, he's still burning. Look at the flames. I think he must he must have redid the flame effects too because they look really nice. A lot better than I remember them being. Long fused dynamite. Woo! Because everybody wants to blow people up delayedly. Okay, so we got that, and uh, we're pretty much. Uh, we're in good shape right now. We took all out all the convicts that I know of, of course. Unless we go to the second floor and there's more, which isn't really the uh, objective right now. We're more or less looking for Deputy Beagle. But we are getting cigarettes along the way because I'm a chain smoker and I can't help myself. all about the cots about the cots <laughs> I was about to say how am I doing in sleep pretty good I'm thirsty of more than anything it looks like even these they don't wow that's a shame I really like sunset sarsaparilla too but they make you more thirsty instead of quenching it shame and it doesn't seem like they heal any food, so what's the point of them? They're just kind of worthless. Well, hello there. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. And you're also tied up. Why, yes, I am. It's a. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I can see I'd that. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Yeah, I know. You would be appreciative if I did. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. <sighs> oh, 
I, I could set them free after you tell me, but speech is not that I'm good. I'm sure you mean well, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory. Of course, I'll have to wait. I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds, I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. So they're the great cons. So that's the clan that helped the checkered suited guy. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The yeah, you will. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I don't. Well, fine. Oh, water. Yes, I need water. Yeah, let's look at all the effects of alcohol in this game. It just makes you more. Whoa. <laughs> it takes away some sleep, but it makes you really thirsty. Eh, why not? In case I'm on the road somewhere and I don't, I can't sleep or something, then I have that. Whoa, what's falling? Must have bumped something and it just chain reaction and wanted to fall over. What you got in here? Empty syringe. Okay. Um. Well, that's about it. Now, if we didn't, there was a door on the outside that we didn't go through, and this is the door you could have took the other way around. But I didn't realize it. It was. It needs to be lock picked. So I gotta walk a long way around again. Woo. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah, there's that door I was telling you about. Uh, here's an elevator. If you can repair, if you had a high enough repair skill, you could repair it, or you can take the stairs, which are over here, I believe. Yeah, there they are. They take you up to the second floor, and there's uh, more convicts up there that you can fight. But right now, I'm more worried about uh, Deputy Beagle running away from me, and I can never get what I wanted. Huh, leather armor. Wonder what Oh I'm not even wearing the leather armor. <laughs> okay. I'm not even wearing it, I thought I was. Howdy. Hey. Well, are you in a calmer, calmer mood now? We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Yeah, Breaking I myself did. myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Yeah, Problem sure. is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? I don't know. I guess that's your decision. What are you talking about? You're a sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy. And I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Uh-huh, sure. That's what they all say. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Now, you'll get a side quest where we can get a new sheriff for Prim. Now, we you can will. do that. That's just or we can focus on I'll the checker-suited man. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't, so uh, maybe I'll, I'll target that Myers guy when we do the quest. Now, can you Any tell me about... Now, can you tell me about the checker suited guy that came through? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. <laughs> I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. 
I assume that was you? Yeah, they probably They said they'd was. be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay. Alrighty then. Thank you for your intel. So now we start heading to Novak. Which is uh, that way. How my stuff doing? Well, I'm actually in pretty good shape right now. I'm just a little thirsty. That's about it. So we can uh, take care of that with some water. Eh, good enough. We'll work with that. Oh, that wears off really quick. Kind of surprised. Looks so, like we got some boat fly friends up here. Let's see if I can hit them with the iron sights. Did I hit them? I did hit them. Nice. Twenty-five percent. I still missed. So. Uh, Just dodge that. Don't fly away from me. Gotcha. Up up here there's gonna be a fight gonna happen, so I suggest if you're playing along with me, uh get your one of your night your weapons you like a lot to help you out. Mm, I don't know what I wanna use. I just keep my varmint rifle for right now. I don't know if there's a way to avoid this fight. There might actually be a way. I don't really know. Might be. Uh, I don't think though. I never got away from him, but I guess I never really tried this hard to not fight him. doing up here Now the thing about centaurs is usually if you find them that means uh, super mutants are nearby. But in this situation they're not too they're close but they're up on the hill more. I don't suggest you go fight them because they'll uh, take you out pretty easily. You know that fight I was telling you about? It didn't happen. I can't believe I actually I avoided it. It. I don't even know how I did it. I never was able to avoid it. So I must have did something special. up here they are if we were coming from the other side they would be waiting for us 
but as I run this way, they're gonna attack us. They're powder gangers. So, and they're upset because we killed Joe Cobb. They should be here. <laughs> Maybe they won't show up. Glitched my way around it. Nope, there he is. I have a present for you from the powder gangers. I hope you like dynamite. Crap, that's close. Jesus! Jesus! Uh, I'm gonna die here, I think. Wow, that hardly even healed me. Yay. I fight dynamite with dynamite. Hmm. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! Got him! Well, that's everybody! I can't believe I did it! Woo! I survived! <laughs> Whoa. What's wrong with his hands? They look like they're possibly bleeding or something. Oh, that's so strange. Oh boy. Not going that direction. Alright guys, uh... We're, I guess we might have to wait to uh, head to... Uh, I believe, we're, yeah, we're going to Nipton right now. They said Nipton to Novak, uh, Deputy Beagle said. So that's where we're heading. We're heading to Nipton, and uh, we'll continue heading there in the next episode. So I'll see you guys then. All right, see you guys. Hope you have a good day.